Hi everyone, this is Karthik. So, uh, if you don't uh, watch my previous video, which is uh, necessary about uh, today's things as a PG Nation, so head over to the link that I uh, previously taught about the uh, Get API and as well as the search feature. If you don't, uh, uh, if you have not implemented yet, uh, just head over to the link above. So okay, uh, so uh, this video is comprises of the pagination only. Uh, but exactly what is pagination? I have to tell. So uh, as uh, you remember previously that uh, I used the JSON placeholder pay API to fetch these details. Uh, it consists of the hundred items. It is a post API basically, uh, means a uh, such type of post that I'm getting. Okay, through the get API. Uh, well, it uh, loads uh, all the hundred items at once. Okay, so we are using pagination because uh, it it uses a sequence of pages in uh, uh, assigned assigned to the particular limit. Okay, so in each limit, it, in each page, we have a certain limit, just like a ten. So ten cross ten, ten pages into ten uh, wise limit. So I have to use if I scroll down. Such like, uh, then it will come the sum of uh, some type of uh, circular bar, then loads the next item, next page. Okay, so up to the hundred item, it will load uh, up to this the last title at nam. So this is the pagination uh, because why we are using pagination because it uh, works smoothly. Okay, page wise, uh, page wise, it will work. So, so it. Uh, it uh, avoids the load uh, load on our application and uh, arrange and uh, load the data sequence wise okay so that's why we are using pagination now so let's do uh, pagination <coughs> so uh, you remember this post list this is the basically this post list okay so i'm not changing this search as type of uh, anything okay the search will be as it is, uh, as you can search anywhere. So I'm using this all post list for now. So what I'm doing uh, is the pagination work, uh, which I have to fetch uh, page wise. Okay. So all post lists. Okay. Let me just code once and then yeah, I will get to the start limit will be 0 initially and limit let's say 10 so these are the end marks that I am putting uh, for now a start and end limit and we can take a, a bull of this page load let's say initially it's false then a controller we have to use that is the scroll controller Say page controller. So this page controller will work on our list view. Okay, don't forget to uh, append this in the post list. This one, the controller page controller. Okay, cool. So we have append the all post list, but we have not used. Let's comment this out. Uh, we will get error. I'm not changing anything, but okay. This this uh, will only change the on the on search post because we have to search anything. Okay, so that's why I'm using all post list here and all post list. Not no change in the build post. Okay, this will be all post list. Uh, will be loaded in all post. Okay, so if it is empty, then true. Uh, false nothing else this will be okay <clears throat> okay the uh, i have appended one thing that is a bouncing scroll physics uh, if you want such type of uh, bouncing a continuous uh, list with that's it uh, will post okay this will be a post list post list one okay so this is all right uh, the post list uh, and i'm uncommenting Okay, so we have to uh, make some changes here because uh, all loaded items is all post list. So let's do one thing. So let's have if this 
n limit let's have the first of all the condition of n limit if all post list dot length is greater than 10 uh, this is ternary operator uh, you might know then n limit or all post list dot length Start limit you can use okay so this is it so we have to append the post list uh, post list dot add all post list of i okay beneath the condition I have to check if this uh is page load so let's create let's initialize the uh, this is basically for getting the initial page okay so i'm accounting the number of items if it is greater than 10 then and limit or uh, this uh below 10 it will be all right all post list okay so i have to check condition here also but uh, before let's do things of the page controller so page controller dot add listener oh this is basically of uh, if you scroll down so for the last item below the last item you would uh, you would be seeing the circular progress bot which uh, we have to load another uh, next items okay so let's have this page controller dot position of let's say it's a pixels if it is equal to this controller dot position dot max full extent then we have to uh, do the loading of the next things okay so if this i had declared the is page load i use the is page load because uh, we have to show the circular bar right so let's do one thing okay here i'm doing plus one so this is basically your api items okay this plus one is basically i am uh, i had append because of the circular progress bar okay okay so mm, let's do the condition of the last item if this index is equal to post list dot length then show the circular bar child uh, center okay so the uh, short ordinary operator i used and uh, i should make it visible if this page loads so this page load then true basically this page load is enough okay this time controller tell for formatting okay so this is the circular progress bar uh, that i want to see uh, if i scroll to the max extent okay so if page scroll we have to get the condition in this it's like uh, is page load then do things so we have to use set state for loading the next items okay so in set state you, you have to basically increment the start and end limit okay so initially if you remember i use the 0 and 10 uh, by the 10 by 10 we have to use uh, 100 items so 10 after 10 circular progress bar uh, will be visible and load the next item so that condition that logic will be written here okay so let's update the first uh, start limit okay if that start limit uh, we have to take the condition like this if that all post list dot length is greater than start limit of plus 10 okay so all post list dot length is greater than start limit plus 10 then use this start limit plus 10 
otherwise all post list dot length that's it so same for the end limit condition and just remove the start limit so uh, this is basically a logic behind the start limit and end limit because uh, it crashes if you do the static uh, static things okay so this is the api remember so uh, uh, meanwhile i mean other way you can print the start list uh, start limit you want to see the start limit Okay, let's make it debug print warnings okay so this is the end limit so we will see here uh, the start and limit end limit so 10 20 30 like that and uh, i have to check the condition here also for this is basically for the updating the limits and we have to upload the items so this is same as that start limit i less than uh all post if okay limit i plus plus so i will check the condition i forgot then same things uh post list of add all post list of i so that's it uh this is for basically getting the <coughs> Uh, next items oh the, this is the payload i uh, yeah this is the only pending in the two cases so if this page loads whenever this page loads okay that means uh, initially i made it false because uh, if i make this true then uh, this both will be called uh, after calling the api as well as this init state so for avoiding this i'm using the if condition now uh, for when this page loads then uh, it will be called so, so basically i have to check the condition like this if end limit is less than all post list dot length so if you get this condition uh, because the end limit is the uh, the last condition as you uh, got this okay if if it is less than this condition then page limit will be false okay so this if it is less than post all post limit dot length correct so this will be is page uh, load will be false that's it so this is the condition that i have to check here also uh, okay so beneath we can check the end limit so if this end limit if it is less than equals to all post list dot length then make this is page load is equal to true else false I have I hope uh, this is clear mm -mm -mm. yep okay so let's try this one uh, just checking whatever left okay I think uh, it will work now so let's do okay I just restart it for getting the list by pagination so okay this are the items of the first page as you see here so if you scroll down okay you will be viewing this page, uh, page the start limit is 10 and 20 okay so initially it uh, it is 0 to 10 okay that's why start limit is 10 now so if you scroll again then it will be 20 30 correct then 30 40 40 50 so i had the 100 items uh, just 
keep it scrolled down because uh, after the 100 items it should not be crashed okay so something happened uh, because uh, the last item is the add uh, so let's check the last condition if I got it right JSON placeholder so this API I basically used the post okay so here as you see uh, this at enum is the last uh, title okay so basically we are not getting this uh, let's check out the condition whatever we used <coughs> so let's head over Okay, let's check now. I did something. So the last item is at name. So I'm just pulling down if it is printed well. At none. okay so this is the last item as you see here yep correct so basically I did uh, two things uh, first is the end limit will not be equal to 10 okay if it is then it makes false okay if it is greater than end limit means uh, we have the next item right so this page is true so this I change and the next one next change is simple as you see here the start and end limit will meet at some point okay so i check direct condition if start limit is not equals to end limit so it works well um, you can try this pagination in your site uh, there, there is no change in the api you can do okay but uh, this is the best thing in the front end you can do pagination okay so but the pagination belongs to the back end because uh, you have to maintain the offset in the database okay so so it works in the both condition but uh, in my opinion the backend uh, suggestion will be well okay so because the api will load better uh, with the use of the offset uh, whatever you uh, you are passing to the request okay so anyways this is the pagination guys uh, so let's let's go to a, a quick uh, so this uh, this will be the all post list that uh, i i get all the list in the in this variable this post list is basically add to the uh, page after page loads uh, the list of items that are loaded. Then I change uh, uh, somewhere the all post lists which are necessary. Uh, such like a condition on the search, I didn't change it. Okay. In the guess, uh, get post, we have to get the initial uh, page limit. Okay. So, such like a 0 to 10 items in my case. So this is a basic condition of uh, whenever the page loads uh, it basically returns to true or false if it have the more than 10 items then page load will be true so what is page load is basically i i had the controller of the list view okay if that list view reached to the max end that we scroll so it uh, leaves the uh, circular progress bar if it is greater than 10 okay and along with the condition that we have append uh, right this start limit and end limit if it is matches then it will be false okay so either case it will load the next items uh, up to the limit what you have the api items okay so make sure you have to append this controller in this way and the uh, visibility whenever this uh, server progress bar visible so that's it from my and uh, this plus one is uh, remember this plus one if you uh, hand on append it then progress bar will be gone okay so that's it uh, for the pagination side uh, let me know in the comments whatever doubts you have and uh, yep happy learning